Welcome to Privileged Catamarans America. I'm Rob Poirier. Today we're going to give you a tour of a brand new Privileged 510 on its maiden voyage. This is a boat named Ona. We are currently sailing south along the Portuguese coast and as you can probably tell the wind is directly behind us because we have our head sails in a wing-on-wing -wing formation. The first thing you'll notice about Ona at the dock is it's the first 510 to be equipped with this new hard top. Again, it was well designed to provide great weather protection, sun protection, and you can see the enclosure fits on it perfectly. The last two days of sailing have really demonstrated just how important a good weather protected helm really is. It's gotten pretty cold at night, so we were able to set up the enclosure and enjoy sailing right through the night effortlessly and absolutely comfortably. The other thing to note is that this new hard top has a really nice safety glass window. The, the windscreen is also safety glass, of course. And as you can see, the wind moved behind us this morning. We doused the mainsail and deployed the head sails and we're enjoying a sail downwind. It's ideal conditions. Okay, here we go. 10, 10, four, 10, seven. All liveaboard sailors will point out to you that weather protection is maybe one of the top three most important features on any yacht. And as you can see, the enclosure on this boat is so well thought out that we can raise certain panels as the weather improves during the day. But they're also set up in such a way that closing in this full enclosure can be done very, very quickly. A main feature of this video we're doing aboard Ona is to point out one more time how semi-custom privilege is and some of the things that the owners of this boat did to make it unique. If you look at the pillar behind me that supports the hard top and the travel, you'll see that it's a powder coated white rather than the traditional stainless. And this has been done on an awful lot of the metalwork on the boat, giving it a really elegant, unique look and it really complements the blue hull. Making this video today is particularly enjoyable because as you can see we're underway. In fact, we're running in about 20 knots of wind. So it's a, it's a beautiful day to be out in the water. What we want to talk about right now is something you may have seen before. And that is this is the second 510 that we have splashed in less than a year that doesn't have the traditional salon dining room table. And that's because the owners of this boat have owned many of many boats before this one and they've come to the clear conclusion that they spend most of their time dining outside. And when they do eat inside, it's at a, a breakfast nook, similar to what we built for them here. All we've done is we've taken the raised countertop, which is always on these boats, and expanded it right here to accommodate these two stools. And you can see what else has been done back here is that we've created notches in the bottom of the salon settee so that they could fit these coffee tables that they had custom made for the boat. So this has created this fantastic living space. There's four of us traveling right now, and we've been aboard for over four days. 
And I have to say, this has proven to be a very, very comfortable environment. You often hear us talking about the fact that Privileged Catamarans is one of the last boatyards in the world that does real semi-custom work. The owner of this boat had a motor yacht prior to Ona, and he had this raised type of workstation, which we were able to duplicate aboard this vessel. What I really like about it isn't just the working station being elevated like this, I really like the fact that it increased the amount of storage in the cabinet. One of the things that has made the last four days about Ona a real pleasure is just preparing meals here in this galley. It speaks for itself. I mean, there's a lot of surface space, a lot of storage, and of course, it's, it makes for great conversation while you're preparing meals. One of the best ways to talk about how well a boat functions underway is to talk about the galley because in a lot of cases, if you're sailing in weather, meals tend to get very simplified. Well, we just worked our way out of the Bay of Biscay, and two days ago, we ate a roast a roast chicken with baby potatoes. Yesterday we had salmon and green beans. We're eating full complete meals aboard the boat and we're able to do that quite easily with this galley on this particular boat. Once again, we find ourselves in an engine room on a 510. The reason we're doing this additional engine room review is because the last time we made this video, uh, there was a lot of comments that perhaps the video should have been made with me in the actual engine room, which makes a lot of sense, so people can get a much better perspective. So since I'm repeating this video, I'm going to repeat myself as well. If you've only got one place to visit on a boat before you buy it, make sure it's the engine room. And this engine room is going to tell us an awful lot about this vessel. We'll discuss the engine in a moment and where it's located, and that, of course, is shaft drive. But also, you can learn a lot about things like plumbing on this boat, because, again, if you look at the way this is organized with the valves, giving dedicated lines to all of your appliances, washer and dryer, sinks, water makers, everything is isolated, so that if you have a problem or a leak with any one of those appliances, you don't need to shut down the entire boat system. Privilege is one of the very, very few boat builders in the world who build recreational boats, but still adhere to commercial standards for much of the systems on board. And you can really see that in an engine room like this one. So let's look around a little bit. Uh, immediately beside me here is the control box for the davit system, for the electric davits. Um, you can also see hydraulic lines and their valves, beautifully positioned, very easily accessible to the rams behind me. Of course, also on the outboard side, these boats all enjoy a chiller system, the Wabaster chiller system, so that you have handlers in every one of the rooms rather than a compressor and a heat pump creating all that noise in all those three hulls because the entire system relies only on one through hull here. So maintenance certainly is easier and comfort aboard is enhanced tremendously. Also located in the port engine room is the water maker just positioned on the shelf below the chiller system. And as with everything else in the room, I've got great access to it for service. Filters are located right here. The membrane is on the bulkhead just ahead of me here. Right behind me, you'll also notice that we have a fire suppression system that is, of course, positioned in both engine rooms. The 80 horsepower Yanmar aboard Yona is positioned further forward because the boat does enjoy shaft drive installation. You can see there's plenty of room for your daily checks. The dipstick is right inboard here as well as the oil filter. We have fuel filters located here on the inboard side as well. I've also have through hulls for both the chiller system 
and the water make it located right here below me. Here in the starboard engine room is where the gen set is located. Great location to keep it quiet from the living areas of the boat and also the electrical control box. As with the other engine room, everything is positioned such that access for service is excellent. Mm -hmm.